All right, in this AS400 tutorial uh, for the AS400 uh, I series and IBM I, I'm going to talk about and show you uh, uh, spool file priorities and how you can adjust the priorities on a spool file. Now, if you're familiar with jobs on the AS400 and jobs that run in batch um, and they're queued up to run in a batch, you can adjust the priority of them of jobs. Well, you can do the same exact thing and adjust the priority of spool files or reports printable output. So to show you here, let's go ahead and look at an out queue. An out queue is an area um, that holds um, spool files. So in this case, I'm going to look at queue print. And here in queue print, we have all these different uh, reports or um, and, and printable output. All, all these things are printable output, meaning if if I wanted to um, send them off to a printer, uh, I could. So let's say you wanted to adjust, um, move some reports around, and and um, if you wanted to move a report of yours, let's say we had this report um, right here, and we wanted that to print out next in the out, um, on the printer. So what happens is that um, output queues are, are uh, FIFO, meaning first in, first out. So um, newer jobs are at the top of the output queue and older jobs are at the bottom more, or towards the bottom of the output queue. So if we F11 here, we'll see the priority of the job way over here priority now priorities uh, I believe are from 1 to 9 on the um, spool files lower the lower the number the higher the higher the priority the higher the number the lower the priority so uh, a, a spool file with a priority of say 1 will be moved ahead and print before spool files with a priority of 5 so to change a priority um, so we have this report right here. We want to move it ahead in the queue, and we can watch that happen. We take a 2 on it, and we need to page down to get to the priority. Let's F10, and here we go. Output priority right here, and let's say we want to bump that uh, print job ahead of the other, all of the other ones in the queue, so we'll print ahead of them. Put a 4. Okay, now we can see over here, how, see how it changed to 4. Now if I F5 this screen, this report should jump up to the top of this output queue here. And there we go. So now this report, you can see it jumped up ahead. We can just 5, just so you can see it's the same report. Jumped up ahead of all the other jobs in the queue. Now likewise, you can also move a report to the bottom of the queue. Um, to do that, we'll take a 2 again and page down F10 to get more parameters output priority and we'll put it to a 6 and now if we F5 this we can see over here that we did change the priority to 6 that report is now at the bottom of the of the uh, of this particular queue and if we F18 to go to the bottom of the list F5 and there it is it's these ones are still being generated uh, see the OPN status um, so they can't actually print, which is why they're at the why they're at the very bottom of the list. Uh, but this one here is the report that we did, just five, so you can see. And there it is. And now that report would print after all the other jobs with a lower priority uh, were finished printing uh, out of this queue. So there you go. That is how you can change the. Uh, priority of spool files so you they can print either before or after um, other spool files and move them around in a print queue.